Hello, today's Pokemon toy review is on Articuno. This figure is made by Jazzwares and is from their Select Series line. The Select Series has figures that have multiple points of articulation and they retail for around $21.99. Now on the back we see Charizard and Greninja, both of which I've reviewed so go and check those out. And next up I will be reviewing Rayquaza so if you don't want to miss out on that make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know exactly when I upload. So let's get into it. The Articuno does stay upright as long as you have it on a flat surface but you really want to display this with the stand that it comes with. The stand has a clear circular base and a clear arm and the arm just slots into the bottom of the base and then has a click and lock mechanism so the arm will stay in the position you leave it at. Then you have a hole in the back of the Articuno which just slots into the top of the arm and this is what Articuno looks like displayed on its stand. So the Articuno comes in at 11 centimeters tall which is around 4.5 inches and its wingspan is around 28 centimeters which is 11 inches. And if you straighten out the tail then it comes in at 30 centimeters which is around 12 inches. Paintwork wise there isn't a lot of paintwork on this figure but the parts that are painted in such as the eyes, the inside of the mouth are all very nice and cleanly painted as are the talons on the feet. But the thing I really like about this figure the most is the tail that they've got. Now this tail is not made out of a hard plastic like the rest of the body but it is made out of a soft malleable plastic almost like rubber that you can bend into a lot of different types of positions. The thing I like to do is to bend it into an almost spiral type shape. I think that's what looks best and how I will display it. But if you don't like the way that looks then you can always put it into the shape that you do. 19 points of articulation on this figure. The first is a swivel on the neck so you get full rotation but no up and down movement. The wings are attached via a ball hinge so you get the full rotation of a ball joint and the wings can move back and forth on the hinge. There is also a hinge on the midpoint of the wing so it can go forward around 90 degrees. The legs are on a swivel so they go only this far back and can come all the way forward this much. Then we have a double jointed knee and you can see that a bit better from the side shot here as well as a swivel on the ankle and then each of the four toes are on a hinge so you can basically scrunch them all together so that it looks like it's holding on to something or you can flatten them all out so that the feet are all flat. So here's a size comparison of Articuno alongside other Pokemon toy lines. First up we have the Jazzwares epic figures Gyarados and Venusaur, battle feature figures Charizard, Greninja and Gengar, battle figures Umbreon, Ivysaur and Eevee, Moncol Pikachu, TCG VMAX Pikachu, Pokemon Scale World Red. Figma Lily, 
SH Figuarts Ash Ketchum and Jazzwares Ash Ketchum. So guys, that was my overall review of the Jazzwares Select Articuno figure. I really like what they've done with this, especially the design of the tail. And I like its overall size as well because it scales quite nicely with a lot of Pokemon 2 to 3 inch figures. So overall I would highly recommend you pick this up as it will make an excellent addition to any Pokemon toy collection. So here's Articuno alongside the other Series 1 select figures. Next up I will be reviewing the Rayquaza. So if you don't want to miss out on that review make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know exactly when I upload. Hey guys we back again with some Evolving Skies TCG packs. Your code card. Go from the back for So we start off with lightning energy, Aroma Lady, Moon and Sun Moon and Sun Badge, Pyro, Havana, Dwebel. Marie, Trousy, Scraggy, Slackoth, and an Espion V. Very nice. Let's go into pack number two. Your code card. Lightning energy again. Ribbon match. Fluffy. Pravieri. Triagonal. Petilil. Bergmite. Drowsy. Scraggy. Reverse Hollow Hypno and an Alteria. Boo! Pack number three. Is your code card? Hiding Energy, Hop Hip, Hitmonchan, Dream Ball, Tentacool, Fletchling, Carvana, Dwebble, Avalok, Nikki Reverse Hop, Ooh, Got Dragonite V, Wow, Alternate Art as well, Very nice. Nice sir. It's my first alternate art card and it's Dragonite. Very nice. Last pack. Code card. Leaf Energy, Vigoroth, Lombri, Scroll of the Flying Dragon, Dino, Pumpkaboo, Carvana, Glossifleur, 
fledgling hippopotas. Oh wow, Vaporeon V Max. Very nice. Well, I got like three hits out of four packs there. That was some good pulls. Okay, guys, so today we have Vaporeon V Max, Dragonite V, and the Espeon V. Dragonite alternate art. Best pull out of Evolving Sky so far. If you like that video, hit the thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more Pokemon toy reviews, hit that subscribe button now. Now go back and watch all my other videos. And I will see you all next time. Bye.